When I was 17, about ready to graduate, we were called to the high school auditorium. On this stage was a chair with a small radio. The principal switched on the radio. We then heard the voice of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt as he announced that Pearl Harbor had been bombed. The United States was at war with Japan. All at once, our future was uncertain. We did not know what was ahead. Would we live to get married and have a family? By the time we graduated from high school, many of our classmates had marched away to war, some of them never to return. Against the certainty that I would be drafted, I joined the Air Force. Soon I was in Santa Ana, California, for pre-flight training. I had heard about patriarchal blessings, but had not received one. J. Roland Sandstrom was the ordained patriarch living in the Santa Ana stake. He knew nothing about me and had never seen me before, but he gave me a blessing. You shall be guided through the whisperings of the Holy Spirit, and you shall be warned of dangers. On a flight to Guam, we became lost due to a typhoon in the Central Pacific. Something's wrong! We're off course! Let's turn! I remembered the words of my patriarchal blessing that told me if I would heed the warnings from the Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father will bless me so that I might again be united with my loved ones. I would be blessed to return from the war if I kept the commandments and if I heeded the promptings of the Holy Ghost. At that moment, I received a prompting to hold our present course. Hold it just a minute. By following that prompting, our crew landed safely at a US occupied air base. With all that is going on in the world, with the lowering of the moral standard, you young people are being raised in enemy territory. But I promise you that you'll be protected and shielded from the attacks of the adversary if you will heed the promptings that comes from the Holy Ghost. The gift of the Holy Ghost, if you consent, will guide and protect you and even correct your actions. He is the spiritual voice that comes into your mind as a thought or a feeling. Take hold of your life and order yourself to be better. You will be watched over and protected, and you yourself will know by the promptings of the Holy Ghost which way to go. I promise you that it will be so.